it's really difficult to find the truth because there's lots of money involved. Tobacco companies are funneling money into into vaping and advertising and all that stuff and probably doing similar things to what, you know, to what they did with you, where they're uh, commissioning documentaries on the dangers of smoking or how to quit smoking by vaping, which yeah, is just an not, ad for them. I did not do that. I did not, I did not say yes. No, absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. And, you know, vaping hasn't been around for a long time either, which means we don't have long-term studies on it. And like that just, what? Did we learn nothing from smoking where everyone was started smoking and we were like, yes, smoke, smoke, smoke. It's very good. They're so very safe. And then suddenly everyone starts dying of lung cancer. Oh, why? Oh, well, it's the smoking. We, we, we found out that it was the smoking. Maybe wait and just let's let's do some long term studies on vaping rather than just hopping on it. Like if you are using it as a tool to, you know, wean yourself off of uh, tobacco or, you know, wean yourself off of cigarettes to sort of uh, fill that nicotine craving that you've got. Go ahead, sure, fine, but like, don't start vaping from nothing. That's just silly. Like, I'm, I'm sorry, it's a silly thing to do. Uh, um, and also, the drug information can be unreliable because it's muddied by bias against drug use, and then also muddied by bias for drug use because drug users want good reasons to use drugs, other than <laughs> like, I want to, you know. <laughs> but people that don't want people to use drugs, like the U.S., go like insanely hard and say no 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 drug use bad mm. and vaping is generally it, it's safer than smoking that's it, as far as we know now it seems to be safer than smoking we don't know the long-term health effects of it you know i'm not saying go out and vape v vaping is by no means good for you but it is less harmful for you than smoking at the current moment as far as we're aware but it's really odd that we use smoking as the benchmark for this i think it would make sense if vapes were only seen as like you know if, if vapes came on the NHS and that was the only way that you could access them, mm. that would make sense as, you know, vaping is much safer than smoking. But why is smoking the benchmark when it doesn't need to... It, let's, let's just look at vaping outside of smoking and say, is this good for you or not? Probably not all that great for you, right? Um, and I generally believe, obviously, that drugs should be decriminalized um, and in some cases legalized, but I just cannot get behind nicotine as a drug at all because it just... And, and smoking as well, because the main purpose of it just seems to be being addictive, right? There's no <clears throat> other effect that changes your mindset or outlook or experience. Really, it just gets you addicted to it. Mm -hmm. And then you keep on doing that thing because you're addicted. And, you know, I believe that people should be allowed to do what they want. But in my experience, it seems that people don't use nicotine products for any reason other than they're addicted to them. Which is, yes. if you want to get addicted to something, it's your right to get addicted. But I don't think it's fair for companies to go around getting people addicted to their product, like literally handing them out on the street so that they can make more money, commissioning documentaries so that they can sanitize their their new product that they're switching to because their old one has been killing people and they knew it, you know? It feels predatory. And if nicotine products, uh, you know, were just stop being, like were to stop being used altogether by just everyone, I can't imagine a huge impact on the world. You know what I mean? Whereas like, I imagine, like I'd imagine if people stopped drinking alcohol, there'd be a huge difference. If people stop smoking marijuana, there'd be a difference. If people stop using psychedelics, there'd be a difference because all of those things could have a use, you know? Like, you know, alcohol is a social lubricant. Marijuana can be used to alleviate anxiety and, you know, for, again, social use as well. There's also psychedelics, which can be used to, you know, uh, to help with certain mental health conditions uh, with alongside, you know, sort of therapy and whatnot. So, all of those ones seem to have a bloody use. You know what I mean? Like they, they actually do something. They do a thing. Yeah. No nicotine. one's taking nicotine because they like it when their when their blood pressure is a little <laughs> bit higher. And if you want your blood pressure to be a little bit higher, take some take, have some bloody caffeine instead. That's addictive too. <laughs> you know what I mean? And don't even get me started on caffeine because that's 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 like a step down from nicotine yeah. on on my list of like the of drugs. Like most silly drugs. Nicotine, <laughs> nicotine. I hate caffeine. I hate. The rest of them are like kind of somewhere there. Yeah. Like, eh, eh, yeah. alcohol's up there. I really don't <laughs> like the legal ones, mostly. Because you know? <laughs> so I'm like, like, why did you pick? Like, I feel like you can't outlaw alcohol because it's so easy to make, even accidentally. Yeah. You know what I mean? You could just, you could accidentally end up with alcohol if you left some apple juice in your room for a bit. So they can't outlaw that. But the dangers of alcohol are massive. And yeah. smoking, we were so close to banning smoking. I, I'm very, as I was saying, I very much think that people should be able to choose what they want to do. I get really tested on that when I think about smoking because I'm like, we would probably be, be better off if we just, off, yeah. we just banned it. Talk at the moment about uh, the UK <laughs> making smoking illegal in any public place, even if it's outside. 
So like I would prefer that. Yeah, not smoking like just outside a pub or mm, like yeah. on the beach or things like that where it is technically perfectly legal to smoke. Well, that's that's honestly where I would go with it because I don't think that I think that people should be allowed to do what they want to do. But smoking, the main issue I have with smoking above and that's another thing above all of those other drugs is that you can drink alcohol and the alcohol doesn't have an effect, a secondary effect on someone else. Slosh all over yeah. everyone else. Yes. I mean, what you do, like, you don't just, oh, like, oh, lads, I'm going to have a beer. Yeah, I'll have a beer. You guys going to get 5% as drunk as I am from, like, you know, from my beer. The few little trip. Beer. Yeah, my, my beer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Secondhand drinking. <laughs> but <laughs> smoking, you know, genuinely harms the people around you. Yeah. We stop them doing it inside. We push them. But like, and now it seems like the most ridiculous thing that you would be able to smoke inside. It yeah. just seems bizarre. You're allowed to smoke I remember inside that in casinos. law coming in. I in, remember watching as a child. I was watching yeah. like the news and seeing a report about smoking being banned inside, and how all these people were like up in arms, and it was going to be an awful thing. Yeah. Now it just seems like the most obvious. It's most normal. Yeah. Well, I mean, I remember going on holiday just after you know, around the time that that was kind of brought in, and you were still allowed to smoke inside in some of those places. And it was very like it, the, the back and forth was very odd. Mm. I'm pretty sure that's a memory. Of mine. I'm not sure, but what I do. It, actually distinctly remember is when I went to Vegas recently you were allowed to smoke inside in the casinos <gasps> there and it's just weird it's a very strange experience being inside and seeing people just smoke Smoking, yeah. Yeah. it's like this is an outside thing yeah. <laughs> outdoor activity seeing someone just like pissing in the yeah. middle of a room yeah. that's, that's a toilet thing what are you doing what are you doing but yeah look um, honestly I think that Ultimately, yeah, we should ban smoking. Should only be something that you can do in the comfort of your own home. Should be probably very heavily regulated. Not on the front of people not being able to choose to do it, but on the front of companies making a profit yeah. off of getting someone addicted to something that's harmful to them. You want to grow your own tobacco plant, then you do you. Yeah. But like it, somebody making a profit off of something that's pretty much arguably its only purpose is to make you buy more of it. Yeah. No, it's, no, no, doesn't work. Yeah, come on. If we're gonna have like, like weed illegal, come on. I mean, sure. <laughs> would how about this? Like, it's like putting. Okay, let's just take some nicotine and put it into whatever product we want. Nicotine containing candy bars. Nicotine yeah. containing. Yeah. There we go. It, it, it's what. It's what cigarettes I wonder if that's are. That's illegal. I think it probably is illegal. Otherwise, we'd have done it already. Well, that's insane. I mean, that's like I, I would such a double would standard. Be. Well, probably because you'd need to be 18 and up to do it. And people oh, would, well, you know it's I mean? also because you're adding... Nicotine does naturally I, occur. Mm -hmm. you, you can you make the argument, oh, I'm just selling tobacco and it happens to have nicotine. But then vapes. They're da not food, damn though, it. I suppose. They're not food, so they're not, like, they're not consumable. Because mm. you're, you're breathing it in. I don't know. Let's look into this. And we can start, we we can yeah. start a line of products that specifically are so ridiculous that they're aiming to get themselves banned alongside <laughs> cigarettes. <laughs> What's, what we should do? That'd be a really fun project to look for little loopholes in the law and then um, create products unbanned them. products. Yeah. You know, might, that, I wonder if also it might be to do with the fact that you don't, because you're ingesting it, it takes a while for it to be go into your system maybe it doesn't go into this into the system in the same oh, maybe, yeah. concentration or if you do eat it you're it's been 20 30 minutes and your brain might not make the association with um maybe. oh that was addictive and it's because oh that was that felt nice but it's because of this thing i ate 30 minutes ago oh, yeah that makes that sense might yeah. Not associate yeah because like sugar isn't only like that i assume because it tastes nice mm. you doesn't get into your gut and then go into your bloodstream and then raise your blood sugar levels and your brain back associates that thing to 25 yeah, minutes it just ago tastes good, yeah it just tastes good yeah. yeah yeah no that makes sense i think look um my conclusion on this is that vaping is not good for you no it isn't it's better for you than smoking but then i suppose you know i don't know uh being hit by a car is better for you than being hit by a bus i'd rather not do either or let's put it this way it's being hit by being a, a, a hit bicycle. by a bike yeah. is better than being hit by a train. Yeah. <laughs> I'm still not gonna go stand in the why bike lane and wait. Being hit, hit by a train, the baseline. Yeah, uh, why are we setting that there, guys? Like, <laughs> I know some people are being hit by trains, but I feel like we should we should we should compare it to not being hit at all, right? Like that's that's where we should start from. But yeah.